Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, how do you like my new hairstyle? It is so hot here and I have not had a haircut in like two months and my hair is just getting long so it's probably making my mom super excited. She doesn't, she wants, she likes the longer hair which is fine. Um, but I physically can't pull my hair back in a ponytail. So I had Dan do it and I said, honestly, I don't care what it looks like. I just want it off my neck. I don't want to be able to cool down. And the way he did it, it doesn't hurt my head. And yeah, I'm happy about it. So I feel gross. It's hot. Um, it's definitely summertime here. Summer is April and May here and we are definitely in the thick of it. Um, I just gave the twins baths and I feel like anytime you bathe a child, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I end up completely soaked and so I don't smell the best and yeah, all that fun stuff, summer fun. Um, but we're doing well. We are doing, um, well, even though everything is changing day to day. You know, we, one day we hear, yeah, you're allowed to have a helper come. The next day we hear, no, you're not allowed to have a helper come. And then one day we hear, yeah, you're allowed to go to the grocery store. And then we hear, oh, they might even close the grocery stores. Like, so there's just so much unknown. And I know that everybody is going through that in their own way. Um, in each city and everything, like, that's just what we're going through. You know, that's just what life is right now. And so, um, and I, and I think we're content here. Um, I, I did look up flights just for kicks and giggles and I was like, you know, it's kind of interesting, it'd be kind of interesting though, when's the earliest we could get out of here possibly. And, um, I don't think there's any flights for April. Um, we have missionary or fellow missionaries, um, the wife was the school counselor for years and her and her husband live in Canada and from their embassy they they were they were told to go home to come home and um, they were planning on retiring and going back this summer so I mean it's just a couple of months early but you know just when you were sitting there thinking okay I'm gonna go back at this time and you like plan for that and you have the dates and you have all these things like lined up in your mind and um, you know you're selling your stuff and just figuring it out it's really really hard for that to change in an instant and be like oh no we've got to get up and go in a week and um, this couple we have the same helper as them like we share a helper she comes to our house a few days a week and then goes to their house a few days a week and so she has worked for them for years and you know so it's just it's affecting her greatly it's affecting them and it's just it's just hard um and I know some of you might have the view of well this is what you signed up for and you know you're you're used to goodbyes and things yes this is what we've signed up for I don't know that you ever get used to saying goodbye that you ever get used to saying see you later it just it's raw and it hurts each time um, but you're right we do know like that's what we signed up for we do know that that's a part of life and so um, but just hearing for them from their embassy that or just hearing from them that their embassy told them that they need to come back and you know thinking okay we need to be ready if whatever happened and we were told hey you need to come back to the US for whatever reason um, we you know need to be prepared for that and so we or I went through we have two bookshelves and I went through and I was like, okay, this I could do without, this I could do without, this I could do without, and these few things I'd like to take back to the States. And so, you know, just not, I'm not panicking, I'm not trying to overdo things, but it's just like, 
if we were to get the you need to get out of here, I don't want to pack last minute. I want to be able to one, to give the time and focus to Thomas, two, to give the time and focus to the twins to make sure that we sent them off in the best way possible and, um, you know, got whatever they needed and I can guarantee you we will not put their stuff in the trash bag. I don't care if I have to give up one of my own suitcases. They do have a lot of stuff because um, I haven't held back on shopping for them. But yeah, like, so that was just my thinking. You know, like, we're gonna move anyways. We'll have to clean off bookshelves anyways. Um, but yeah, there's, I, I feel like, for a missionary, a lot of times there's a lot of things that, that are up in the air and you're just trying to figure out things and how things are supposed to look and what you're supposed to do. Like, there's always these unknowns. And um, this is our home right now, but then the US, Indiana is our home state, but then like, is it our home? Like, heaven is our home and I'm so, so thankful that heaven is our home, you know, as we have all these uncertainties of, oh, is this happening, or is that happening, or what's this look like, or what's that look like, we can rest in the Lord, and um, the fact that he has provided heaven for us, and just his goodness, and his love, and his grace, and just everything that he has given us, it's um, such a blessing, so, with that all to say, as far as we know, our plane tickets, our flights have not been canceled. Um, there might be some discussions about whether we can look into moving the date up when we leave. Um, I don't know. We're, we're thinking, we're processing, we're looking. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but we're also like trying to be as much present here on the ground as possible and take care of things here. Um, we're realizing that for this summer we have more things to think through than what we had originally thought we had to think through um, you know and that's that's just part of it um, I know the Lord will work in us and through us I'm thankful for a school that is flexible and saying okay if this summer doesn't work out for people to go you know back to their home country um, you know what are our other options and so there's 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 talk there's communication and it's all it's all good you know and and there's nothing wrong with just processing and um, whether this is right or wrong I use this channel a lot of times to process through things and to let you and on the journey that hey we're talking about this hey we're trying to figure this out we're trying to you know figure out what this looks like and um whether you agree with that or not it's fine but it's just yeah there's just a lot of things on the ground um we have one pass to leave the house right now and so meaning one person can leave and that's dan since he's the driver I don't know when I'll leave the house. Thomas hasn't left the house in weeks. Um, the twins haven't left the house in even longer. And yeah, it's, you know, it's just the way it is. Um, I am thankful we have a car, so we don't have to figure out like, how do we line up a taxi or how do we figure that stuff out. Um, I am thankful for that. And um, I'm thankful that we've had you know, help up to this point. We have processed and talked through things. If we don't have helpers, you know, like what we'll do or how we'll work things out. Um, I'm very thankful that we have an understanding school, excuse me, you know, that knows and understands that we've got to figure this thing out as families and, you know, it's not always easy. Like sometimes this e-learning works for the kids and sometimes it doesn't. You know, and just I being flexible, living in a community that understands flexibility. I mean, missionary, it's like 
missionary, flexible, like that's in the description. You have to be. Um, but you also have to know and understand that it's challenging and hard and messy and smelly and yucky and, um, and be okay with that too. And so I'm so, so thankful for those of you that, you know, have said thanks for saying that it's hard, you know, thanks for being honest and transparent and we're walking this with you and, you know, those of you that are praying and those of you that are being an encouragement. And I'm sorry if there's some of you that don't agree with us. I'm sorry if there's some of you that um, think that we're in the wrong in some of our decisions. But we're just trying to do the very best that we can. We are human and it's all Excuse me. <laughs> messy and challenging and difficult, but we're just taking it one day at a time and um, letting the Lord be our guide in everything that we say and do, or at least trying to let him lead. Um, you know, we're human. We do struggle. So. That's it for today's video. We'll talk to you next time. Bye. God bless.